So can you tell us a little bit about what the council's financial position is at the moment? Well, for a start, council's not broke, but what we need to do is trim our expenses so we're living within our budget. Over the last few years, a lot of decisions about, you know, what to build where, what to borrow, um, were made with an expectation that we'd have a bigger council. Uh, but now there's this de-amalgamation in the wings, and what it has done is retrospectively redone the books for the last five years, and we've got the impact of that. So the Remnant Council is wearing the results of decisions that were made with a very different expectation. Um, our day-to-day -day expenses are more than we can afford to maintain. Uh, Rockhampton City on its own back in the old days had a really small area that we were um, maintaining and it was relatively inexpensive um, to provide services and have lots of lovely things. Um, we've now extended our area, of course with amalgamation we took in some um, areas that needed a lot of work done, such as Mount Mormon and Fitzroy, and of course Livingston, which had high income and higher values, and it balanced. Uh, now we've just got the one side, um, look, Grace Me is our future, and Mount Morgan is delightful, so I'm not um, saying there's anything negative. We would still absolutely want to be amalgamated as a, as a group of three. But we've got some challenges now to right-size our day-to-day our -day expenses. I was sort of explaining it to someone a little bit like, um, you know, we get our pay packet, but we're spending a lot of money on McDonald's and on, on restaurant food, and we need to pull back and, and look at how much we're spending every week because we're running up the bank card. Uh, so that's the first piece of work, and that's what we're out talking to the community about. You know, what are the things that are most precious? What can we do differently? What are you prepared to, to see change? And looking at the, the figures specifically, there's a bit of confusion around at the moment in regards to debt because there's all these different figures. Can you just paint us a picture of our situation at the moment while we're still amalgamated and then post amalgamation? Okay. Uh, right now, if you went and asked the, the Treasury, they'd tell you $220 million. By the 30th of June, it will be $240 million. So Council does its sums for a year and says these are all the things we're going to do. We use our own money first, of course, and then the bit that we have to borrow, we wait till the very last minute uh, to borrow it. So by the 30th of June, it will be $240 million. Livingston Shire will take $73, $74 million of that with them. I mean, there's a lot of fine tuning to be done, uh, but by and large, they'll take a little bit under a third uh, with them when they go. Now, Livingston Shire are just under 30% of the population. They are 33% of properties. They are 39% of values. So the way local government does its rates is by adding property values together and then dividing it back out. So they're 39% of values. They pay 37% of rates, so of general rates. So to have Livingston leave has got a, a real impact on the rest of us for, for our budgeting. Um, but in this case, they will take just a little under a third of the debt. So we will have around $166 million um, in debt when they leave. So is there anything else that you wanted to add about our position at the moment? Oh, look, I think we should take heart. We really do have options. Um, our debt is around $2,000 per person. Um, the state average is about $1,000 uh, per person, but we have to add into the mix that we own our own water business still, and some of the other local governments um, lost that to the state and got cash in exchange some years ago. Um, we're really pleased to still own our own water, um, but you know that's still a, a heavy burden, and um, it has implications for how we do our budgeting. And at the moment, and you know the decision about the airport will be taken cold hard light of day long after the budget is, is bedded down and we've done that process we will then sit and look at, at the airport and what we do with it but at the moment i'm wondering how we can do all the things we need to do without continuing to borrow unless rates go up considerably and, and that's really a difficult um well it's not something i can do